into the flask with the water? Red Riding Hood is so uptight, I'm sure leech cure is good for her. What is it, number two? Have I ever told you about... It was my... Number two? Speaking of... Cretan! Oh, thanks! Your girlfriend's in sleeping aids. This is where it gets funny. Hey! What's that itching? Ouch! Ah! Help! What is that? <laughs> oh my god! No! What's that? No! Yuck! They're slimy! Ow! Ouch! I want him to stop! Mwah! Please stop! Daddy! Daddy! I want my daddy! Ah, I knew it! That little brat is a daddy's girl! <laughs> Now I've not only got your blood, but your soul, too. Oh, they're eating me alive! Phew! I got rid of them. What were those monsters? Ha <laughs> ha What could be better than a sweet little act of revenge? Why are you so pale, Captain Niss? Number two! Intruder alert! I was attacked by alien parasites. I'll stay at my station, though. You've got to page the sick bay and conduct a quarantine protocol. There's no sick bay, Captain Niss, and no doctor either. In fact, we don't even have aspirin on board. What? Uh, I mean, I know that. That's very unfortunate, but given the incompetence of our male crew members, it was to be expected, really. All I could do is cauterize your wounds to disinfect them. I'll gladly do that for my captainess. Certainly, number two. Certainly. Dismissed! Come to daddy. Hmm. Freshly squeezed leeches are a delicacy, not from concentrate blood, so to speak, and now into the chalice with it. Ha <laughs> ha! Take your here right this chalice of the blood of a dragon. Ha <laughs> ha! Only the blood of a red dragon smells as poisonous and sulfurous. You've proven yourself to be worthy. Arise, dragon slayer Simon. Now let us set forth to vanquish the green dragon. Choose the way of your destiny. The path of the scoundrel, the path of the warrior, or the path of the bard. As soon as you've made your decision, I will join you on your mission. The path of the scoundrel lets you talk with a sweet tongue, but in secret, you're hatching dark schemes. The way of the warrior leads you to open battle with the green dragon after intensive training. The way of the bard, well, that's a way for gourmets, really. Choose wisely. There's no turning back. I choose the way of the scoundrel. You chose the way of shadows. Pretend to help the green dragon, but behind his back, steal his breath. That's supposed to be your help? Silence, young hero. Think of the great Siegfried. He never hesitated, just acted. And what became of little Siggy? Well... He was pierced by a spear, a death worthy of a true hero. Oh well, what can I expect when talking to an unhinged hammer on a wooden spaceship? Don't just talk big, act!
By Odin, nobody better get in my way while I'm carrying this hammer. Very good, scoundrel. This way you can twist the green dragon around your finger. You're on the right path to become a true hero. I'm beginning to enjoy this playing night escapade. And now, charge! By Odin's toenail scissors, take that! Look, I've got a bone for you. Thank you, friend Simon. But this bone not looking good. Oops, the fire went out. Too bad. That no problem. I always having lighter with me. I just needing to fetch new wood. Friend Simon can shortly keep his eyes on lighter. Of course, I'll guard it like my... Anyway, I'll guard it. Mmm, monkey bones. A delicacy in some places. Look, I've got a bone for you. There, that puts an end to Swampy's playing with fire. Simon sure having had great effort for bone, but it not being good. Bones, the perfect seasoning for good soup. Look, I've got a bone for you. Thank you for bone, friend Simon, but it not being good. Oops, the fire went out. Too bad. Oh dear. What I do now, I want help in you. You can help me if you go to the control console. We've got to prepare for landing. That's nearly as important as your swamp soup. For you, friend. I do everything, good friend. Ha! Take. Ha <laughs> ha. Now let us set forth to the path, the way, the way. Choose. I choose the way of the warrior. You chose the way of the warrior. Know this: the green dragon draws his power out of his cauldron filled with poison. Destroy that cauldron, and you destroy the dragon. You mean I should take you and smash Swampy's cauldron with your mighty force? Cool. Young Siegfried said exactly the same thing. Remarkable. But both of you lack patience. A true warrior always prepares for a decisive battle. Bring me a dummy cauldron to practice so I can prepare for my great deed. You want me to bring you a cauldron so you can fight another cauldron? That's nuts. Well, okay, I'll get you a cauldron. Don't just talk big. Act.
By Odin, nobody better get in my way while I'm carrying this hammer. That, that cauldron up there just maliciously insulted you. What? Really? It called you a ridiculous rust crow. Unbelievable, isn't it? Didn't you hear it? Everybody heard it. What insolence! Yeah, you shouldn't take that. Everybody will be laughing at you. You want to find me beacon there, huh? You imagine some can and take that? <laughs> And that showed him! Very good, warrior. There's nothing better than a little duel. By Odin's beard curler, take that! No, you'll die! Ah, that was great. Now I'm ready for the battle against that young green dragon. I can't do that. Simon, friend! Ragnarok! No! Arr. was great. I really needed that. Why you do that, friend? Why? Swampy old friend, for my last four adventures, you've never done anything but cook this horrible swamp soup. I always cooking for you, friend. You always liked soup. I even knew his recipes created have very tasty, very swampy, only with original swamp sludge. That's exactly the problem, Swampy. Always this old sludge. I, as your best friend, can't stand it any longer. So please regard this act as a contribution to your character development. You still my friend? My things destroyed you have because my friend are? You've got it. Now accept your chance. Landing this spaceship is your new job now. Come on, cheer up and forget that sludge. Ha 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 ha! The Green Wyvern is defeated! Victory is ours! I will sing of these deeds at campfires for a long time to come. Now I'll rest and continue writing my hero's tale while I'm waiting for the next adventure. Ha-ha! <laughs> Take you! Ha-ha! <laughs> now let us set forth the path, the way, the way you choose. I choose the way of the bard. Knight Simon, you managed to surprise me once again. Even Siegfried did not have the wisdom to choose this noble path. To be honest, he even laughed about the mere idea of it. Uh-oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Your feelings are not your best advisors. You should cook a soup for the dragon. And it's becoming even worse. Well, what do I have to do to quickly end this medieval fair? A fatalistic mindset can be very helpful for a hero. Knight Simon. It's very easy. Dragons live alone for their whole long lives. A little gift to show your appreciation will soften their tyrant hearts and gain you the key to victory. So, seek out the dust... No. So, seek out dust of the brittle rock, fat of the great fish, bones, water, 
and a small cauldron. Well, as long as I don't have to eat that stuff. The green dragon will love it. By the way, you don't need fire. It'll be a cold soup for the cold heart of a dragon. So, let's get going. By Odin? We found the statue of this toy boy while reconstructing the black pear. Captain Narrow must have hidden it. Red Riding had already left some marks on it with her torture instruments. Go, Hammer, smash that toy boy! into my inventory with it. Halt! Wait! What's wrong? Be careful! That's Stan! He's a real butcher. But there's nobody here. Or are you talking about that broom? Ah, my lad, you don't see the wood for the trees. Since a horrible slip-up in the heat of battle, he took a vow of silence and retired here. And to proclaim his humility unequivocally, he gave himself the outer appearance of a broom. I see. What kind of slip-up, exactly? Well, we don't like to talk about such things. Just picture a rather bloody accident, and a lot of innocent, dead people. Okay, so he's a rather violent broom. Nonsense! Just see for yourself. Well, okay. May I introduce to you His Magnificence, Stan the Eskimo Harpoon. Doesn't Stan talk now and then? Of course not. He took a vow of silence by Holy Thor. But as you can see, he's agreed to help us. I didn't notice that Harpoon agreeing to anything. The experienced warrior notices even the tiniest movement. Or he imagines he does. But anyway, what's it to me? Okay, Stan, let's go. Come to Uncle Simon. Jorn des Born de Rittigit der Gü, Horn des de Born des de Umborg Borg Borg. Jorn des Born. If only Alex could see me now. Alex would be so proud of me. So proud that I'd be responsible for cooking every Sunday. So fortunately, she's not seeing this at all. Look what I've got for you, my friend. Oh, so much soup I have cooking and now, no, this make me so happy, friend. How can I ever thank for you? No problem, Swampy, it was my pleasure. 
Now leave that cauldron of yours alone and man the control panel. We've got to prepare for landing. For you, friend, I do everything nice, good friend. Ha 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 The Green Wyvern is defeated. Victory is ours. I will sing of these deeds at campfires for a long time to come. But now I'll rest and continue writing my hero's odyssey while I wait for the next adventure. Har har! Full speed ahead! Attention! Eye of Death firing on Black Pear. Wolf, initiate evasive action Alpha Kappa! Huh? What? Attention! New object detected on collision course with Black Pear. Number two! On screen! Oh no! A giant octopus is approaching the ship, Captain This. Any suggestions, number two? We still have the old cannons of the Black Pear. Initiate a counterattack! Computer, fire all guns! Error. Weapon systems incompatible. Interface not present. Manual control required. Ha! Huh, that's my cue! Computer, divert all energy to the shields! We do not have any shields, Captainess. The cannons have failed! <laughs> Status report number two. An octopus just rammed us here in the endless reaches of space, Captain Niss, and uh, we've stopped moving. Put that in order. You've got two standard star days. Two days? No problem, Captain Niss. That's a piece of cake for me. Status report. Outer temperature minus 459.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Inner temperature, 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Shields, non-existent. Weapon systems, non-existent. Minibar, half empty. Engines, inoperative. Man-machine interface, engine room, defective. Immediate repair advised. The path to the breathtaking world of vacuum is clear now. Too bad that door can't be controlled from here. It can only be opened and closed from Red Riding Hood's console. I hope that brat lets me back in again. What is it, number two? I need to leave our ship and go outside. Could you operate the airlock for me? Of course I could. I'm proficient with it. I'm like that metal bird. Uh, you're talking about Polly? Of course. Who else? I don't like to admit it, but that thing's even more annoying than you. Thank you. You're welcome. That bird's a real nutcase. He brags all the time about this knowledge of magical modeling clay and whines on and on about his dilemma of shutting down at minus 455.4 degrees Fahrenheit. That's Polly as we know and hate him. I didn't know about the magical modeling clay though. Is the airlock open now? Of course. Enough chit chat. Bye. Full speed ahead! Come down to me! Come! Chick, 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 chick! Why should I? I'd love to stroke your shining metallic plumage. You can stroke yourself! Full speed ahead! I heard you're an expert when it comes to modeling clay. 
You heard correctly. I've written a 12 volume standard reference on the subject. That will soon be available from a certain renowned academic publishing house. What topic are you interested in exactly? Uh, can you give me a general overview first? Well, modeling clay has been known to many cultures since the beginning of history, especially in... Okay, okay, thank you. I can see that's going to be a longer lecture. I'll return if I want to know more. Full speed. Come down. Right. I have a very important mission for you. Ah, uh, that sounds interesting. I just hope for you it's a mission fitting my outstanding intellect. Of course. I need you as a communications manager. You've got to visit the Octopus King on the Octopus's planet. Finally, somebody who's able to appreciate my talents. When do I leave? You can leave right away. Here, get into this diplomat shuttle. It'll allow you to travel according to your position. I'll have to put them in the boot soles very carefully. They already have a lot of holes. A diving suit full of holes and with spikes on its boot soles. Strange. I seem to be doing something wrong. It doesn't hold tight. Where am I supposed to find a modeling clay expert here in this ship full of idiots? What is... What do you think of that giant octopus clasping our ship? This octopus is actually a tactical advantage. His cloud of ink is a perfect camouflage for our approach to the eye of death. That's ingenious, Captainess. Yes, isn't it? Were the engines working, we could reach our goal undetected. What's this, number two? Check the scanners. It looks like that octopus is about to let go of the black pair. Ah, my wonderful plan, number two. Prevent the octopus from leaving its station. Get to it! Enough chit. Full speed. I heard you. You heard correctly. I've written. I want to know about magical modeling clay. Magical modeling clay has been used since the beginning of time for a multitude of applications, most recently as an adhesive agent for dentures or in the production of condoms. Magical modeling clay is especially known for its ultra-sensitive natural feel. Enough! I just want to seal a diving suit with it, but I can't get it quite airtight. Well, that's really simple! If you want that thing to keep shut, you'd better put a lid on it. Huh? What are you trying to tell me? You can't keep quiet, huh? Then I'll be asking for some concrete, not clay boots for you, Sonny. Capiche? What's with this? Don't say now I'm faced with threatening modeling clay, too. That's unbelievable. You did get it. Well, I'm... Let's see if this really works. I'm warning you, modeling clay. If you don't hold tight, you'll take a bath in highly concentrated swamp soup. Man, I've insulted a piece of modeling clay. How embarrassing is that? Well, at least it seems to have worked. The modeling clay is holding tight. Ta-da! The spacesuit is ready. I can go for a spacewalk now. Here we go, Mr. Ambassador. There's a mission to fulfill. Mr. Giant Octopus! Oh, I'm growing so cold. Help! 
I'm freezing. Help. Take that, you octopus piece of crap. I'm gonna stick it to you, you slimy beast. Ah, you can't defeat me. Is that all you've got? I've seen jellyfish fight better than you. Feel my harpoon. Surrender, you're no match for this sorcerer. It worked. That annoying parrot has finally been shut up. Luckily, that strange modeling clay really held together. Well then, let's go. Where is it now? Ah, I've got it. Oops, no, that was the reproduction chip. It has to be somewhere here. What's this now? Well, anyway. Ah, there we are. The man-machine interface. New hardware detected. Unable to identify new device. Unable to install device driver. Configuration reset. The system will be rebooted now. The system error encountered while saving function. Procedure completed. Engines reactivated. Loading coordinates. Please wait. Navigating to new coordinates. For more help, please press Control Shift Alt F1. Har har, full speed ahead. Computer, reverse thrust, initiate braking sequence. I'm afraid I can't do that, Simon. The octopus got caught up in the engines. 15 seconds to impact. 14. 13. Oh no, we're all going to die. 10. Ah! 7. Do friends want last meal of swamp soup? There's no time for that. Ha <laughs> ha, so there's a good side to this after all. 3, 2, 1. Have a nice day!